Larry Frank, frankly speaking, sports. You know, just yesterday, folks, just yesterday, the NBA imposed a 25 game, that's right, 25 game suspension on John Morant. And you know what? I don't know if it's enough. I don't know if it's enough. I cannot believe that people are actually insensitive, crazy, and foolish enough to think he's been treated unfairly, including the NBPA. I just can't believe it, and I just can't understand it. Okay, this is the second time, not the first time, the second time he has been warned by the NBA commissioner, Adam Silver, about displaying firearms. Whether they're fake, whether they're real, it doesn't matter. The impact that John Morant has on society, on NBA fans, and especially young kids, is just amazing, amazing, and amazing. You know, I understand when I was a kid, we didn't have social media, okay? So everything you did wasn't magnified like it is today. But he is the foolish one. He is the dumb one that is displaying these things on social media for whatever reason. If he's having issues, if he's just plain, simply not smart enough to realize the stupidity behind it, I don't know, but either way, it is wrong. Here's a guy, the face of the Memphis Grizzlies, just signed a five-year, $194 million extension, okay? A lot of money, a lot of money. If you're hanging around the wrong people, smarten up and get away from these people. They're not only ruining you as a person, they're ruining you as a star as well. And that is not as important as what's going on off the court with you. A lot of people are upset because they like John Morant. I like Morant. I love the game he brings to the Memphis Grizzlies. But this is more important, more important than basketball. This is a guy that has an issue. You know, you're talking about 25 games. What, did, what needs to happen? Does someone need to get hurt or possibly killed before the NBPA realize this is a serious situation? We, there are consequences for your actions. He's been warned once by his organization, by the company that employs him, and he still, still went another route and did not listen to them. He is wrong. He is wrong, and he is wrong. And like I said, the influence he has on young people, we don't need to see people copycatting a John Morant. You know, I understand it's hard being a professional athlete. You know, but when you're a professional athlete, whether you like it or not, you have certain responsibilities, not just to yourself, but to society and the things you do. You, whether you like it or not, you are going to be looked as a role model. You know that before you get into professional sports. That That's one thing that's important. The other thing we have to look at, folks, is his problem is a lot bigger than playing basketball. Basketball is the least important thing. This man is troubled. This man has some issues that needs to be dealt with and needs to be taken care of. You know what? I don't care how many games or the amount of games he suspended is not as important as the amount of time it takes him to get better. He is a troubled young man. He needs help. NBA commissioner is doing him a favor. They are helping him. Somebody, like I said earlier, does not need to get hurt, does not need to die because of his insensitivity and also his actions. Not only could it be the young kids that he influences, it could be himself. Himself, he's holding a gun. He was depressed. How do you know he's not going to kill himself and take his life because of the depression that there's a lot of depression that goes on in professional athletes because of the role they play in society. I commend Adam Silver for the job you're doing. I commend him for taking a stance, not because of the NBA, not because of the image um, John Morant is presenting about the NBA to other people, but for caring enough to realize this young man is in trouble and needs help. That's what's important. Love to get your feedback. Love to get your thoughts. Leave comments underneath. As always, you can email us at franklyspeakingsports at gmail.com. I'm Larry Frank, Frankly Speaking Sports.